Hello there, Michael Krug here with CoachKrug.com, health and fitness coach, and today I'm going to go over a really powerful strategy that I personally use daily, uh, and that's called box breathing. So if you're new to breath work and it's not something you practice regularly, first and foremost, our breath is really the only thing that we can control in any given moment, and being able to harness our breath to be able to re-regulate, to calm our nervous system, and to really ground ourselves is an important practice when it comes to living healthfully, when it comes to being proactive, and when it comes to making decisions from a place of uh, recognizing our vision and the choices that we know we need to make to get to where we want to be. So box breathing is something that I do every day. Uh, you can do it sitting up, you can do it honestly standing. Uh, you can also do it laying down. I personally do it every morning in bed. Uh, I happen to be at the office and I do have a yoga pillow, which I'm sitting on, so I'm just gonna show you here. But keep in mind, you can do this sitting in a chair. Again, you can do it laying down. Uh, we're gonna just get through it. So when you start, uh, for the first 30 seconds, just breathe normally and start to you know, recognize how does the breath feel in your body, okay? Um, you might notice your chest lifting, you might notice your, your stomach inflating almost. Um, and it's really important to, the big reason we're doing box breathing is to learn to breathe really deep, okay? So, I'm just kind of tuning into my breath. Now, if you're breathing, you just feel your chest kind of expanding. Um, that's shallow breath, and this, it's not inherently wrong, but we do want to teach ourselves to breathe deeper on a more regular basis and into our stomach. So, that's where box breathing comes in. So. Um, to do some box breathing, we're going to put one hand over our chest, one hand over our stomach, and we're going to really breathe into um, both of our, our hands, but we want to inflate our stomach and almost like push against this lower, lower hand. So. And when we do this, the reason it's called box breathing is because we're going to focus on the inhales, the hold, and the exhales, okay? And we're going to do each of those for a count of four. So it's almost like inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Okay, so it's like you're creating a box. And I actually physically want you to count in your head as you're doing this. This is also going to help uh, relieve our mind from whatever may be stressing us, whatever is on our mind. Uh, and we're just going to go through it. So. So there was a couple rounds. Uh, as you can see, as I do more box breathing, I actually get lower into my belly with my breath. And um, I recommend to do this for at least a minute. If you can, like five minutes uh, is a, a lot of time. But um, the, the, the more you practice and the longer duration you're able to do some box breathing, the deeper into your belly you're going to be able to get your breath, uh, the more calm you'll be, the more at peace your nervous system will be. Uh, you know, you'll be able to go from that parasympathetic to sympathetic state uh, in a more realistic way. Uh, and you're really going to see, I mean, just making decisions when it comes to exercise, to food, to doing the things you want to do. Um, you'll, you'll be impressed with what shifts in your life just by being able to harness your breath. So, uh, again, Michael Krug with CoachKrug.com. Uh, this has been Box Breathing Basics, and I hope you enjoyed.